Hey, it's Tommy and Brooke in our Star 105.7 studio with a turtle. Does the turtle have a name? It does. Uh, we affectionately call him Woody. And Woody. I'll tell you why. Okay. Uh, because it's a wood turtle. So, oh. just as my kids named our fish Swimmy, we decided for this one we call so. <laughs> so, What's a wood turtle? A uh, wood turtle, there's a number of species of turtle in Michigan, and this is one of them that you'll find. Why is he um, so fast? Uh, they actually will move about, you know, 400 um, or 600 feet in a day. So, they'll travel quite a you, distance. Brooks? Hey. <laughs> they'll travel quite a distance, actually, to go find mates, uh, find food, and find good places to lay eggs. He's looking for a woman. Yes. That's why he's going so, so fast. So, yes, okay. so this time of Can year, you blame him? Uh, that is the case. <laughs> you got to so. keep up. With us. They're pretty amazing, um, and they're actually a species of special concern in Michigan. Uh, so we actually do a project in order to help head start these animals. Oh. Uh, so over the winter, we, we raise them, and normally in the winter, you have any ideas what a turtle might do? Uh, going to a shell? Sleep? Yeah, not, not hanging out outside in the no, snow, that's no. for sure, right? <laughs> so um, they usually would go into their own version of hibernation, so they're not growing a lot. So oh, we head start them, we feed them up over the winter, and get them to about the size they'd be at three to four uh -huh. in one year. Okay. And that way when we release them back out, they've got a head start. So. Uh, and that what, allows him to survive uh, better. What? Does he come out of his shell? Uh, no. So this, this a, here's I mean, a shell. Because the cartoons. Can, can we hide a ping pong ball? In the cartoons. Ball? And, they, <laughs> you could. You could do the shell game. Yeah. So it's like turtles <laughs> under the shell. Maybe you move <laughs> right. Right. Other. No. Uh, so you, what you're seeing is literally a modified backbone. So this is um, their bone. You can see in here that backbone that's in there. So they don't jump out of the shell. They can't walk out of that shell. That's, that's a, the backbone. That's a cartoon. The, all the cartoons, they slip right out of there. They're just slippery little buggers. Right to the next one. No. You know? <laughs> uh, hermit crabs, a different story. They actually do pop from one to the other. They'll go find a new shell and go into Good those. Lord, but these guys, don't. not so much. All right. So. Okay. All right. Uh, we so didn't bring one of those on today. There's something about happening with the zoo that we, how people can help with turtles and what's this guy over this here? This is a uh, gray tree frog, another tree frog you'll find locally. Um, and what's really cool about the gray tree frog is a few different things, but um, that they actually can uh, change their color slightly to adapt to the oh. surface that they're on. So they're not quite as oh, quick goodness. as a chameleon or some others, um, or like certain species of um, squid or things like that, but they can modify their color squid. slightly to, uh, to blend in. How many, really the, cool. how many different kinds of frogs are there? Oh gosh. Uh, I, I, Trick question. I couldn't even <laughs> tell you to be honest. Which one, um, if I kiss it, becomes a prince? Uh, hmm, let's see. It, will, it, will this guy? I haven't but, tried it yet. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't Now's tried your it chance. Yet. Can I she could kiss try the it. prince? <laughs> well, uh, the let's see what happens. Okay. So, uh, we'll have to edit and make sure you're pop. Exactly. Sure. Sure. Like, I can pop out of something and put a crown on there. <laughs> no. Um, so, so these guys, um, like I mentioned, we, we work with this species. Then we also actually have a group of volunteers that we call citizen scientists. Okay. So there maybe aren't enough scientists to go out and find all the frogs that are out there. So we train people to uh, through a national program that's uh, sponsored by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums called Frog Watch. So we have a bunch of frog watchers. Frog and, watch. And they don't watch. <laughs> they're actually, you, they're really frog. It's a new reality they're show. They're frog <laughs> listeners, really, is what they are. Because uh, you're not going to see these guys very easily. You're okay. going to hear them. Oh. If you go out at night, anytime this time of year, you're going to start hearing all kinds of sounds back mm -hmm. yeah. okay. And a lot of those are different species of frog. And you think they're crickets, but they're frogs. Some, some of them, yeah. So you'll wow. hear this low trill in the background. Mm -hmm. That's actually an American toad. Uh, there's some that sound like a comb when you pull on a comb. Okay. Uh, two oh, yeah. Comb. There's some frogs that sound like that. There's some that sound like rocks, like banging together in your hand. Those are all frogs. Those yes. are all different frogs that you'll see. This hear is an educational area. thing, it right? It is. Can you get warts from frogs? Uh, no, you are not going to get warts from frogs. Because that's a thing too, uh -huh. right? Right, right. When you see a toad, it's got those bumps yeah. on it. Yeah. But those bumps are actually poison glands. Oh. So that if another animal were to eat it, it will either get sick or have a bad taste. You can't get warts, but you can get poisoned. It, yeah, don't go licking them. Don't go, yes. Yeah, <laughs> not kissing them. Come on. Don't kiss the frog. Don't kiss them. So, um, yeah, so we actually work with a variety of frogs to have our frog watchers go out and listen. Okay. And we've trained a number of volunteers this year. And uh, so if anyone out there is interested, they can come and check us out. And Sweet. Learn how to do it. It's all happening zoo. at the yeah. zoo. I feel bad for this turtle. He's like going five inches and then back. Five inches. What happened if you let him go? How far would he go? We'll find out. Okay. We'll let him sort Don't of head right hit there. that button. <laughs> he might be headed to your keyboard. See, now he's kind of, he's like, all right, I'm at the edge. Now he's just chilled. I know. So oh yeah. Know. Now he's looking at me. This Checking is really uptown funk. Do it. <laughs> Anything? Oh, yeah. So this this weekend at the zoo actually is our party for the planet. So at the zoo we have our <laughs> Earth Day. Thank you very much. We have our Earth Day celebration just a little bit later than Earth Day. Okay. Um, in order to sort of, there's a lot of stuff that happens on Earth Day in this community. Yeah. Because uh, everyone wants to get out and be active. So this weekend is ours, and we partner with about 24 different institutions. Our lead sponsors are Orkin and Coles, so we're going to have the uh, Coles associates um, out on the at the zoo volunteering to help us out with activities. 
people can come and learn different things they can do. It might be activities for the kids or information that parents can take home okay. about the watershed and about local animals in their area right. and what they can right. do. So come to the zoo this weekend. This weekend. 10 to 4 is when the zoo's open. 10 to 3 is the event. It's Party for the Planet at John Paul Zoo. Sounds like a party. It will be. He's ready to go. He is. <laughs> chill out for a little bit. All right. Should be a shell of a great time. It will oh, be. Ah, see, oh, hey, I mean, it's scary. <laughs>